Hey everyone, it's Real Faction, and we're back in Minecraft. Only this time, we're on me and Josh's server, Deadcraft. We're a civilized community, as you can see. We have a whole bunch of things in our shop, and plenty to do. So, hey, what are you doing? I said civilized. You're, you're interfering, man. I don't talk to the man. Oh, yeah? Well, I could ban you. But I won't because I'm a, uh, I'm a freaking awesome uh, server owner admin. Yeah. Hey guys, welcome to the Dish Out, episode five. I can fly higher than that. Five. So, um, yeah, as you noticed, we're in Minecraft again because we felt like that's what the fans were asking for. So here we are in our server, Deadcraft, and here with me once again is Dante and Josh is filming. So, yeah, welcome back. Thanks, it's good to be back. Cool, you're a robot. For this episode, we have a bunch of new stuff for you. Starting with Animatronic's new album. You know, the guy who made the intro and the music, that cool... Da -da -da -da. Yeah, well, he's got an album out now called Armatures. Check that out. I've listened to it all. I think it's like 18 or 19 tracks. It's a long album, but it's awesome. Go buy it. It's on iTunes and Fixed Music. Go check it out. And now it's time for the Power Player. Today in the power player, we have JP Super Fresh with Hip Happy. Hip Hip Happy. And what I think about the song is it's kind of catchy. It feels like, although it feels like an element is missing, I'm not really sure what. Uh, other than that, it's a great beat. It's uh, good the way it is. You know, I just, I kind of wish I could sing over something like that. Like, uh, it has a nice boom clap feel. It's, uh, it has nice synth melody layers. Well, it, I personally think it's a great song. You know, um, what what comes to mind when I hear it is I think uh, of uh, of a uh, of a team of people stomping the yard because the way it's got that that clap yeah. to it. You know, you know, like a like a dance troupe going at it. You know, synchronized <laughs> dancing to it. I was dancing. Don't qu don't 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 quit your day job faction. <laughs> yeah. But no, all in all, I thought it I, I thought it was good. Um, yeah, as I said, I'll, I could just see a troop stomping the yard to it. It needs more bass. It needs more bass. It needs more bass. Eh, maybe. Go check out his stuff at his YouTube page, Official JP Super Fresh. Next on the list, we have... S <laughs> I, can't, I can't say this name without laughing. Squatting Dog. This is... <laughs> Squatting Dog 88101 uh, Candyman intro cover. It's a it's a cover and it's a great cover at that. It's a uh, nice for Halloween music. It's a uh, creepy. It's it's nice to play on someone's doorstep if you're stalking them. It's uh, good for a thrill ride at a carnival, whatever the occasion. What do you think? Well, I I thought it was really good. You know. Very Halloweeny, you know, something you could play on your doorstep, as you said. But I also, it also gives me the vibe of it could be in a good game like Castlevania or, or something like that, you know, because it's yeah. got that, it's got that creepy atmosphere. You know, when I was listening to it, you know, like it made me want to play Castlevania and go kick the snot out of some zombies and some bats and <laughs> slimes and stuff like that. What about Mr. Mr. Josh? No comments. All right, no comments. Yes. Had a very few words. Squatting Dog 88101 can be found at that URL right there. Squatting Dog. Awesome name. Next we have Criminal Divas with Creeper. It's a they're a band, Criminal Divas. Uh, and Creeper is a song. Uh, the vocals are nice. A beautiful use of chords. I. I think it's a nice feel-good song for the summer. It's kind of catchy. Uh, I don't know what else to say. I just kind of enjoyed it. 
Big, you know, it helps me relax, I guess. What do you think about it? Well, I liked it. You know, I like how how um, how she wasn't using or whoever was playing the guitar wasn't using an electric attack, like that very underground, laid back kind of sound to it. Yeah. You know, so the guitar is not too uh, not too sharp sounding. It's very very hollow and tinny, and that little uh, that little. Uh, uh, acoustic solo she threw in there it just kind of reminded me of some old fashioned Eric Clapton. Eric Clapton. That, that that's what I thought. You know, that's something I could listen to either driving down driving down Hollywood Boulevard or listening to it as I fall asleep. Hollywood Boulevard, falling asleep. <laughs> Don't fall asleep while you're driving, though. That'd be bad. <laughs> It'd be bad. Well, that's all for the power player. Uh, next, we have the artist of the week. This artist of the week is Gamer Colin One One Seven. I hope I'm saying that right. And with Pencil Tiger, you know this, this is absolutely beautiful. This is a masterpiece. This is something I'd like to throw on a rug, like, like no, not the tiger. I mean the the picture. Like ha have it printed on a rug of some sort, like a carpet and. You know, just hanging on my wall, like a or on a canvas, even. I don't need, you know, color to make it just speak to you. I have one of those pick kinds of pictures hanging on my door. Uh, awesome job, awesome detail. Very realistic. Know, very realistic. I don't know how they do it, but uh, I just want to reach through my screen and pet the tiger, man. It's just. Uh, don't know what you're on, but okay. Uh, you know, it's very realistic. It, 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 almost, it almost looks like uh, this person took like a, a high quality camera and went to like the zoo and snapped a photo of it and then just turned it, uh, photo edited it to black and white. It was all hand drawn yeah. in pencil, and it's really phenomenal. It's like oh, yeah. a, it's almost like a lion could jump out of the screen and maul your face. <laughs> <laughs> Hope not, because then so, we wouldn't we wouldn't be able to do the show anymore. Anyway, go anyway. check out more of Gamer Call and 117 stuff at the Newgrounds account. Next is Flash Mania. And this week's Flash content is Verge. It's a Flash game, and it's an awesome Flash game by Christian Makanga, Kyle per Pulver, or, and Alec Haloka. I don't know, some of these names are hard to say. I hope I'm saying them right. Verge, I think it's kind of a spin-off of the of the uh, saying, or the, the term Verge of Death. I think that was a term or something. And it's it's an incredible puzzle game. But here's a twist. This isn't just a side-scroller. You think, oh, okay, I have to get to a goal. Oh, no. Uh, it's not that simple. You see, you can't just die. Because the point of this is you have to die. But you can't just die. You have to die the right way. You have to die by spikes, not the flame balls that the monsters spit, you know. And you have to find the relic portals. Uh, it's these Egyptian relic. I think it's some Egyptian sign. Yeah, it's, uh, the, it's the Egyptian sign of life. Yeah, yeah, and that's also something interesting. Uh, you, you go in this upside down spirit world, and you have to find the right relic portal to get to the right place to get around other obstacles that you can't in the normal world or the whatever the upside is. Remember what your parents told you kids, if you're gonna kill yourself, jump on the spikes. It's safer and you won't really die. Yeah, makes perfect sense. But if you do like dying, this game is for you. But you won't really die. So that. also, if you if you like really trippy games, because when you die and you go into this other world, it, it it's almost like you're tripping balls. It it it's it's weird because you know it's like you're in the normal world and you're like right side up and everything, and when you die, you know you're upside down, and when you walk, you have like uh, you have this trail of yourself just following behind you. It's weird. Yeah, it's crazy. So go check out that game, it's pretty awesome. Uh, go check out XRaven13, Xerus, and Alec Hoka at his website. So there are the links, go check them out. 
all that great content. And now, today, we're going to do something we haven't done before. We're going to show you more on our server. It took me a while to do this, but I have world edits. So, even, even with that, it took a long time to make with thousands of blocks. I don't know why the fountain's there. I didn't really want that, but Dragon, man, he wanted it there. So, I'll keep it. I have two members of my crew on the ship, and they made these cabins, which are pretty awesome. Okay, we have a cow on the ship. I was not aware of this. This is Killing Pigman's cabin. And here we have my hotel, the Empty Socks Hotel. Now why it's called the Empty Socks Hotel, I can't really tell you, but I can show you. Welcome to the Empty Socks Hotel. I have uh, four rooms vacant. We got the McDonald's logo, just for laughs, get over it. Then we got this nice little iceberg fountain. This is my uh, assistant's room. This is someone else's room. As you can see, you can request custom walls. I have to have the glowstone here to, to get rid of monsters, but you can request what, almost anything for the walls, just not diamonds or anything valuable. This is more, this, this floor has the more interesting rooms. Now the guy who wanted this room to be different had an interesting choice in color scheme. And here is the dining hall. We've got the tables, we've got the nice decor decoration. And that's just creepy. We've got the third floor. So we've got three floors so far and 14 rooms. These are the bigger rooms on the third floor. So if you like big rooms, third floor is where it's at. But yeah, we've got about five, four or five rooms open right now. If you want to check us out, come to mc.deadintermediate.com. It's Deadcraft, our server. And also, we're going to tell you more about it. Uh, every week, we're going to feature a Minecraft creation in our server. If you create something cool, I might just feature it. We're doing giveaways every week now. Uh, basically, to win the prize is you have to join our server, so we know your username, and you have to find the code. And if you find the code, message it. Do not comment in the box, or you will be disqualified. And we'll pick one random winner who sent us the code to be in the next episode with us here on the stage. Isn't that cool? So if you subscribe and... You tell us your username and send the code our way in a message, you might just win. So, what is the code this week? Who knows? Maybe you already saw it. Maybe it's yet to come. Uh, what's up, dude? Everybody, this is Real Faction. Anyways, um, so, <laughs> yeah, I'm sure everybody, everybody uh, loves uh, the Castle Crashers music, especially Necromancer theme. Dude, like, when I came out with the Castle Crashers medley, everybody was freaking out that I didn't do Necromancer theme. Everyone at uh, Simple Sight, like, they were like, dude, what the f And I was like, dude, it didn't fit anywhere, but then I did a, yeah, then I did, um, yeah, I did a, you know, s what do you call it, separated cover of it, so. I remember where I was at school, too. Uh, I was at school, it was like 8 in the morning, and I got your video response, um, it was actually a night of heavy partying the day before, so like I was like, uh, and then I got your message. I was like, F yeah, like within the first like hour it was uploaded, the composer gets a hold of me and says it was awesome. I was like, F yeah, dude, dude, I, I really appreciate it. That was awesome. It's kind of really funny that a lot of people, um, you know, who compose this and get a hold of me, they're like, dude, that's exactly what I was thinking. Like, that's, I think that's probably the best thing that's come of this YouTube channel. Like, uh, the composer's coming back to me and saying, yo. You know, like, that's awesome. So, Yeah, it's it's all about, you know, like, I've been learning stuff by ear for a while now, and, like, the more you do it, the more you can take on, you know what I mean? Like, you can hear a full, like, four measures and just remember it and then play it out. Like, it takes a little while, but, you know, you get the hang of it. Yeah, dude, it was great to have you, but, um, yeah, I guess, uh, we'll talk later. This is such a f awesome song. That's We've run out of time, so there's no website this week, but... Stay tuned for episode 6. I am the Real Faction. 
It's now dark. This is Dante 689. And Dead Inner Media is filming. And we will see you next time on the Dish Out. I'm flying Ciao. away. <laughs>